Moving on to the next example, we have to find the x value or the x values on the function x squared minus x minus two times two x minus one, where the tangent is horizontal. So if we show this visually, we can take this function f of x and graph it because this x squared minus x minus two, that factors into x minus two x plus one. And we can see that the x intercepts would be two negative one and positive one half. So this is a cubic function. So this is how the cubic function looks with those x-intercepts. So we have to find the x values on this function where the tangent is horizontal. Now, a horizontal tangent always occurs at a maximum or minimum value. So at this maximum here, the tangent, if we draw one, it's going to be horizontal. It's going to have a slope of zero. So the question is asking at what x value? is that happening? Also notice here how the tangent is going to be horizontal at this local min value as well. So what x value is that happening at? So from this diagram, you can tell that we're going to get two answers for our question. The problem is how do we find those x values for which those horizontal tangents occur? Well, because we're dealing with tangents, we know that we can find the slope of a tangent at any x value on this function with its derivative. If we can find the derivative of this function, then we can plug in any x value on the function and find the slope of the tangent at that specific x value. But we are looking for the x values where we're going to have a horizontal tangent. And a horizontal tangent, a horizontal line, always has a slope of zero. So we're looking for the x values for which the slope of the tangent is equal to zero, a slope of a horizontal line. So we know that we're looking for the x values for where the derivative is equal to zero. So this equation here is what we're going to have to solve to get the answers to this problem. So the first step, let's find what the derivative of the function actually is. And if you notice, the function is composed of two separate functions multiplied by each other. So to find the derivative, we can apply the product rule. Now you can also take this function and expand it and then find the derivative by finding uh, or using the power rule on each of those separate terms. And to keep it real, that would probably be uh, a lot less work. But because this section is focused on the product rule, let's apply the product rule to find the derivative of this. So to find the uh, derivative using the product rule, we would take the derivative of that first function. So the derivative of that first bracket is 2x minus 1 times the second function left as it is. So that is 2x minus 1 as well, plus the first function left as it is. So we got x squared minus x minus 2 times the derivative of that second function, h prime x, which would just be two. So then simplifying that further, we would expand these two brackets and then distribute that two inside this bracket. And we'd be left with that expression. And then simplifying the like terms, we would end up with a final derivative of six x squared minus six x minus three for this function. So now that we have the derivative, we can solve this equation. So when does 6x squared minus 6x minus 3 equal 0? And then factoring out a 3 from the left side and then dividing both sides by 3. So the 3 would go away on the left side and then 0 divided by 3 is just 0. So we'd just be left with 2x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So this is just a quadratic equation. First thing you check, can you factor this? And unfortunately, it doesn't look like this will factor smoothly, so we're gonna have to use the quadratic formula. So then taking that quadratic equation and then putting it into the quadratic formula, the quadratic formula being negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. You may have to go back and review that. So doing all that algebra, we would get x values of negative 0.37 and positive 1.37. So at that x value of negative 0.37 and the other x value being 1.37, a horizontal tangent is occurring on this function. Now, sometimes questions will ask you for the x values, like in this case, sometimes they'll ask you for the actual coordinate. 
So if they want the full coordinate, you would just take those x values and then plug them into the function to get that respective y coordinate. However, in this case, these were decimals, so I just asked for the x values. So pretty simple, it's not too bad. All you have to do when you're finding the points at which a horizontal or a tangent on a function is horizontal, you just make the derivative equal to zero. And then finding the derivative depends on the specific case you're working with. In this case, we're multiplying two functions, so to find the derivative, we use the product rule. Now, we could have also solved the quadratic equation from this step here. We didn't have to factor out a 3, so we could have just plugged in that a value of 6, that b value of negative 6, that c value of negative 3 into the quadratic formula. We'd be working with bigger numbers, but we would still get the same answer. So either case works. Just remember, whenever they're asking for where a tangent is horizontal, a horizontal line has a slope of zero, so you make the derivative equal to zero and solve for those x values. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.